Hello class, in this video I'll show you how to properly export your model and import the model into your game in Unity 3D. So here I'm using the model that uh, I created in last week of a class. Okay, and uh, as you can see our model has the door. Um, since this is the beginning lesson, uh, the introduction lesson about Unity 3D, um, so I'll not go too deep on you know how to use the script to open the door. Uh, so in that scenario, you know, if we're going to import the model into Unity 3D and if our player is going to enter the house, we have to let this door in the open stage. Alright. So here is the fire hierarchy. So what I'll do is uh, select the first door group. Okay, hold uh, hit W key. So as you can see the pivot point is um, not on the door itself. So we'll go to tool menu, modify, center pivot, okay? And then hold down uh, DK, D for the pivot point, and then hold down VK. So we will be able to snap the door's pivot point to the corner of the door. And then uh, hit RK, we can rotate the door. You know, we can make the door in the open stage. And then Select the second door group and hit F key, and then we can, um, you know, frame into the second door. And same way, so first we'll go to modify and center pivot, and then hold uh, hold the D K for the pivot tool, and then hold down V K for snap. So we'll snap the pivot point to the corner, and then we can hit R K to rotate the door and make it open. Same thing for the third door. So I'll just repeat and D, e, and then hold down V to here, and then hold down R key, hit R key, and uh, open the door. All right. So when once you have done this step, um, select the whole thing, okay, and we'll go to mesh and combine. So we'll combine the whole thing together into one mesh. And then go to uh, modify and freeze transformation, and then edit and delete by type and delete its history. All right, so this will make the whole thing as one model. All right, and then we can rename this one as house. Okay, and then we'll export it to a FBX file. So go to file, go to export selection, which is the house model we have selected, and then here for file type choose uh, FBX export okay uh, and in last lesson I've explained if you don't see this option go to Windows and setting preferences plugin manager and type FBX and make sure the FBX um, plugin is checked on and after you check it on the plugin and then you go to export selection you should be able to see uh, the FBX option for export and then we can save this um, model, export it as a, a as a file named the house, and export it. All right, then we've done with the uh, Maya, and we can quit the tool. All right, so this is Unity 3D, and we'll go to create a new new project, and then here, um, you know, save your project to a location, and then project name here. I'll just say house project. Okay, and make sure terms I choose 3D and then click on create. All right, so this is Unity 3D interface. Um, the first thing we'll do is go to tool menu, um, game object, 3D object, and we'll create a plan. So that's the same as the plan um, in Maya. Okay, and hit RK, we can scale it up. As you can see, the short key is the same. All right. Scale it up. So here I put about four to x y z on scale, and then the second step we'll do is go to um, go to assets and import package and characters. So I'll we'll import a players, and uh, here just you know by default it checked everything here. So we'll keep everything on and click on import. And maybe it will pump up this window, see API update required. So just to say I made a backup and go ahead. 
once it is done and then you will see you'll have a, a standard assets folder added under your assets here all right so if your interface is different than mine you can always just go to a layout and check the different type of a layout and then you should um, see my layout okay uh, so here we have a standard assets added in here okay and just double click on there and you will find a character folder and go to character and then here's a um, first person character so this is what we want to import to the scene and then go to prefabs all right and as you can see here's the hierarchy okay and here's the what is inside of the folder and then we can bring the fps controller which is the first person controller uh, just drag it into the scene and here is it okay so here is our stage and we can press F key as the same as in Maya so we can zoom in here and then you can hold down option key and your mouse left key to orient around in the scene just the same as Maya and then hit W key right and we want to bring it up because right now as you can see uh, half of it is under the ground under the plan and that's not what we want so I just Hit W key and move it up, so make sure it is above the ground. All right, so that's the second step, which is bring our character in. And third step is while bringing our model, the house model we have created. Okay, so select your assets here. So basically this is our fire hierarchy. If you go to your folder, this is the house project folder we have created, right? Um, and see this is the assets folder so the assets folder we currently have editors standard assets and scenes same as here and then we'll go uh, here in your finder you can right click and create a new folder and we'll name it model and then you can see it'll immediately update here so we can also create a folder here so for example if I right click on the assets and create a new folder and you know here we can name it as um, texture okay so now we have five folder added here and if we switch back to finder you can see that it also updated here right so now we have five folders here so that means in unity 3d you can do it either in the program or in your finder okay create a new folder and um, you know update on both sides okay so we created a uh, models folder texture folder and then we'll also create a uh, material folder then what you'll do is um, find the FBX file that you just exported from Maya and then you know you can either copy and paste it to here or just simply drag it into here so you'll bring it into your models folder here is it so I'll bring it to models folder and then switch back to unity 3d and you'll see that it'll update here under models folder right and then we can just drag this mo model inside of the scene okay and place it anywhere you want and this you know this camera here is our first person controller and this is our model and then you can hit this button play and then you can test the play and then you can see that by hit w e s d k um, we can walk around in the scene and use your mouse to rotate around you can orient around the scene and we can take a look of our model okay so that's the third step bring our model in um, and as you can see the model it doesn't look good right the color uh, because that's the Maya default material and it shows the gray color and the floor is the unity 3d material and uh, by default is uh, showing white color all right so now uh, fourth step we'll change the material um, so as you can see I'm in the gameplay mode uh, to quit just to hit ES key, um, ESC key hit that and then you'll see your cursor and then click on this uh, play button to stop the play mode um, and then we'll go to the material here uh, first we'll create a right click and create and create a material and for this one we'll see uh, floor and you can go to Google image and just search grass texture and 
um, you know, you will find a lot of uh, textures. So I use this one. Uh, I click on that and it's a square shape texture and it has uh, uh, 1600 pixels. Download it to your computer and then um, rename it to grass texture. In your project folder on the texture folder, you know, you just drop the image in here and then switch back to Unity 3D and you should see uh, you know, it'll update the texture image to here under the texture folder. And then we'll go back to material, uh, select the floor material, and then on the maps here, the first one, Albedo. So just click on that, and then you can either, you know, find it here in the window, right? Uh, see, here is it, or you can just simply type grass and it'll um, find it, and just select it, double click and it will be imported as the texture map of this material. And then you can just simply select this material and drag and um, drop it onto the plane. As you can see, the texture has been applied to the ground. However, right now it's a little bit too big. Um, so we can, uh, you know, by selecting this material, we can go to the setting. Okay, as you can see, it has an option, which is a tiling. Um, so here's the same as the Maya material for the tiling. So we can put a number here and let it repeat. So I haven't go to the texture part in Maya. Okay, so just give you a simple concept. So we'll see here if I uh, put, uh, put five, so it'll repeat the texture in five times along the X. So I'll do Y as well. Okay, so now you can see it is smaller. So maybe I'll just do 10 since my plane is uh, too big. Okay, so now we get texture for our uh, floor plan. And then for the house, since we haven't do UV mapping for the house, uh, so if I apply texture to it, it'll be a mess. All right, so I'll just give a sample material. So I'll go to create a material again, and this time I'll see house M as a house material. And then just select this material and drop it to our house model. Here's it. All right, so the material is done. As you can see, if I um, pass play the game, we can see the house is a pretty in white color. However, as you can see, the uh, the house is a bit small. Uh, it's a smaller than our player, so we'll scale it up. And also, as you can see, I can go through the house. I can penetrate in through the house. So that will connect to the fifth step, which is the physics. So we'll have to apply something called uh, collider to collide with our player so our player cannot go through objects okay so let's go ahead and go to the fifth step so i'll select the house model this whole thing and first let's um scale it up and uh, bring it up you know above the floor And let's select our first person controller, which is here, at, um, and bring it on this axis. Okay, and you can rotate your player. See here, I'm rotating on Y axis. So if I put 180, so I just flipped our player. So now our player is aiming to the house. Okay, and then select our house. So I'll we'll apply something called um, Mesh Collider. Okay, so we can just go to Add Component. Uh, here is it. So if you go to um, Physics, you'll find here Mesh Collider, where you can simply this way. So you can just search Mesh Collider. So what Mesh Collider does is it will create a collider based on your mesh, based on every vertices you have. So for example, if you have a cube, the cube have eight vertices, right? So when you apply the mesh collider, it will create a collider that has eight vertices. Okay, so if you have a model that has a 100 key vertices, and then when you do mesh collider, it will create, you know, 100 key new vertices just for the collider. So be really careful about this option if your model is really high resolution. Okay, since now this is our first class, so and our model is no resolution, so it's fine. So I'll apply a mesh collider, and then let's see if I play. 
and as you can see our house is bigger and all I can also step on to these steps and as you can see I cannot go through the wall right the window and I have to go in from the door and then from this door okay and this may be the bedroom and I can also look around through the window so that is outside looks nice Okay, and um, if you create the furniture model, for example, the bookshelf and the sofa, and you can also bring the models in and apply the mesh color to them. Okay, um, so it'll be really nice. And then I can walk out, and you can also bring your cafe table and the chairs you have created and apply physics to them. So your character can sit here and enjoy the scenery. All right, so now let's move on to the last step, which is step six. Um, whenever we build this game, you know, simple game, and you want to share it to your friends to play it, uh, so we'll have to build this game. So I'll go to a file and build setting here, okay? And make sure you check on the scene, which is current scene, as you can see, the sample scene. Okay, so check it on, and then uh, we'll go to here. Okay, so uh, we'll build as uh, Mac OS, all right? Uh, if you are in Windows computer, and if you want to share your game to your friends who's in Windows system, so you can check on Windows. But here we'll just check on Mac OS. And then you can just click on Build, and it will go to a location. Uh, so by default, it should be our project uh, project folder. So here we can see house game, and then just click on save, and then it will start to build our game. <laughs> All right. Once it's finished, you'll have your game in here, and you can, as you can see, it's the app, and you can share it with your friends. And uh, you can double click on this game. And then you know you can check on a resolution. So here I'll just check on um, you know endo resolution and then performance. I'll choose high and then I check Windows, uh, windowed, and then click on play. So it'll not be full screen, okay? Instead it'll be windowed uh, game mode. And then as you can see in this game, I can press WSD and I can walk around and I can walk into my house and. Um, oops, I blocked by the door. Uh, I can check around, okay, and I can also walk into different rooms. All right, so this is pretty much how you can um, export your model into FBX file and bring your model into Unity 3D and construct your first game.